So in hand, what happens is, as you know, it's due to the peripheral nerve abnormalities. It's kind of a peripheral nerve lesion, and it's usually the most commonly affected nerve is the ulnar nerve. There is a loss of sensibility and muscle weakness. The hand in the leprosy, the most commonly, as I told you, is the ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve is mainly C8, T1, so it is the most important factor is always on the ring finger and the little finger usually the sensations are lost on these uh, ulnar one and a half digits there is maybe a loss of sensation over the hypothenar eminence as well there is a degeneration of hypothenar leading to hypothenar atrophy along with the formation of claw hand what happens and what type of different patterns of paralysis can be seen is clearly visible in this table. It could be an isolated ulnar nerve injury which is usually the most common and it could be high or low. As you know with the ulnar nerve injury this is a term called as ulnar paradox. Instead, if, it, if it's a high ulnar nerve injury there will be less clawing as compared to low ulnar nerve injury. Therefore, this ulnar nerve uh, paralysis is most common. It results in a partial claw hand or ulnar nerve palsy or Z deformity, which is UED seen as well. There is loss of intrinsic muscle deficiency with positive from its sign. Problem is with the poor precision handling in a weak grip. Although the median nerve and radial nerve are functioning, therefore, patient can pinch or at least make some movements with the hand but although the grip is possible but it is actually weak because these the ring and the little finger are not working properly now it could be a combined ulnar and lower median nerve injuries although it is less common but it can also be possible because this can affect the median and ulnar nerves as well and there could be a total claw hand or claw fingers or even a claw thumb this kind of deformities could be present as you know that usually this thinner eminence the radial two and three and a half fingers area is supplied by the median nerve and ulnar one and a half finger is supplied by the ulnar nerve so there could be a atrophy of thinner and hypothenar there could be loss of intrinsic muscles there could be the uh, paralysis of fds of all the four digits and fdp of the index and the middle finger this could lead to probably the problem with the pinch as well the patient will not be able to pinch or grip properly because now the median nerve and ulnar nerve both are damaged but there is some degree of uh, power grip and precision is possible with the patient is able to carry a briefcase with this maneuver at least and the third option is could be ulnar nerve low median and radial nerve paralysis although it's a very rare one it usually results in a drop wrist and drop digits because now there's a median nerve paralysis along with other nerve and this combined radial nerve injury as well now this loss usually with when the, all the three nerves are lost this leads to severe loss of function and patient cannot grip or hold objects there is another form of injury it could be which is also very rare it is combined ulnar and high median nerve palsies or it could be high ulnar, high median and radial nerve palsies. That is, it is affecting uh, the nerves, all the three nerves up in the arm. With this kind of injury, when it's a triple involvement, there are all the three nerves in involvement, usually there is total loss of function below the elbow joint and this could lead to a flail kind of a four and hand.